Hello and welcome to this review of Offio. Now Offio is a website that allows you to make videos and it allows you to make images and the idea is that they're for social media. So you can make videos up to three minutes long. We're going to look at the platform today. In full disclosure, Offio reached out to me and they have provided me with free access to this service, which I haven't paid for. However, this is not a sponsored video and the video will remain impartial. Let's get into it. So first of all, I'm going to log in. So as you can see, you can log in with an account. You can log in with Facebook. You can log in with Google and you can see I've already made some videos here trying the service out. So we've got different formats here. We've got a full HD. We've got social media posts, square. We've got stories. We've got Facebook cover. We've got something called Smart Create. So I've clicked on Smart Create and essentially what Smart Create does is it just makes a video for you, a short video, an introduction video. So let's have a look. So I'm going to look at using the logo feature. I'm going to add a logo. I've already got my logo here, so I'm going to use this logo and it's at about 5% now. So I'm going to come back to you when it's at 100%. Shouldn't be too long. So that was probably less than 10 seconds. Now you can see it's incorporated my logo into various intro videos or intro templates. And I can go in and I can edit that. And you can see I've got four pages of all these intro videos. So I can do a product video. So again, I upload an image or I can try a sample one. I'm going to try a sample one. I think this bag looks quite good. Let's use this. So again, I'll come back to you when we get to 100%. So we're back at 100% and I can go in vertical or square and I just get a little video with the bag in. Certainly if you're in a rush and you like what it does, you can just click in and edit the template and probably you would just edit the text. But yeah, this looks really good. We can add a brand. Now, I think this is really good for anyone who does Instagram and Twitter and, and does social media feeds. This is going to be a lifesaver for you. So if I click on my brand, I've already set my brand up as Big G Photo. And when I set my brand up, I really liked it. So I'm going to go with replace theme. So you can pick different colors and you can pick a style. And I went for vibrant. If we look at abstract, we get more different shapes and modern. We get different shapes. Again, I quite like vibrant and you get a preview of all the sort of things that it looks like. So to set my brand up, I know I can't show it here, but I just typed in my URL. I just put in my YouTube URL and it came up with YouTube as a logo. And what I did was I just replaced it with my big G logo. So I'm not going to go any further because I don't want to make changes. So I'm going to go back to projects. But I think having the brand section is really, really useful. What I also like as well is we've got this intercom button down here. So we can send messages if we want to. I'm recording this at the weekend, so no one's going to be in. I don't expect them to be in as well. But you can search for help articles and stuff without having to leave the website. It's really useful. So I'm just going to close that down. So we're going to make a full HD video today. So we can make it from our branded templates. We can make it from other templates or we can start with blank. I'm going to start with our YouTube templates. So it brings up a variety of templates. There's a lot of stuff to load here and you can see these templates are in the colors I picked. I am I think this one's going to be quite good. I'm going to try this one out. So if I haven't already said it, this runs in the browser and look at all the text and stuff we get. It automatically selects this. We've got all these stickers and calls to action. That's not appropriate for me because I'm not a shop, I'm just a YouTube channel, but I certainly like this one. Obviously, I'd get rid of the Black Friday stuff. We've got our templates here. We've got styles, which I'm not going to go into. Graphics, I think, are really good. We've got some really good graphics. So we've got shapes, textures and brushes, icons, lines, geometric things, emojis. And we can see by this number how many we've got. We've got social icons here, We've only got 16. We've got these basic shapes abstract shapes, smoke. We've got loads and loads of stuff here. Now, one of the things that you're going to find when you join one of these sites is you've got an idea of what you want to do and they come with loads and loads of stock footage, but quite often you can't get what you want or you can get something very close. You might be doing something on a car. They've got a red car, but they don't have a black car and you need a black car. I'm quite happy that there's loads and loads of stock here which is really, really good. If we go to stock footage, and this is going to be photos and videos, we can get photos from Unsplash. 
we can get videos from I don't know where they come from but they look pretty good okay these, these look really good and we can just preview one by hovering over it there that's, that's playing now so we get a good preview of what it looks like let's have a look at masks so we've got a variety of masks where essentially it cuts out and shows your, your what's underneath maybe that's your video maybe that's your photo oh these look good we got yeah so I'm very impressed with that we've got backgrounds what I like is we've got images we've got patterns and we've got videos all in different shapes and sizes the, wow these look really good so I suppose what I'm trying to convey is the assets you get with it are very good you get very good assets we've got music as well and what I particularly liked about music was yes we've got load there's loads here can scroll forever but we can actually go and view by categories and I was really impressed with this there's loads and loads of different categories and it's very easy to tell what they are so we've got moods and we've got genres I tend to use sort of electronic dance music that's the sort of thing I like to go for but you might want laid back so this is really good that we can oh this one would appeal to me just pick by genres and then it comes up here if we want to use it we just click use and again this is really good we can click on this trim editor it will automatically select the best place for the duration of the video so i think this is a just under five second duration but we can set where we want it to start so a lot of stock music that you get has a slow build up and then it's in we can pick where we go so we can trim to where we want it which i think is really good we can also add fades in and fades out fantastic um and then what we can do oh i've clicked on animate what we can do here is we can favorite them as well fantastic so what i'm going to do i'm going to click this button and this will play from the beginning okay not really doing much so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this animate button here. Now, we tend to want some kinetic things in the social media posts. I think the term is scroll stopping. So I'm going to click here for on animate and it animates everything in one go. I tend to like this bounce. So things bounce in. It looks quite kinetic. I can randomize. I'm just going to apply it. It always warns you it will overwrite whatever it's got. Now what I can do is I can go to this timeline editor. Let's get rid of that. So here I've got the sort of fade in and I've got the duration. Now I can just click on these pluses and we can add some things in here. So if I click on this plus, I think what we'll do is we'll hinge that one out. So we're adding a transition at the end and we can change the speed if we want. So let's go, let's click here click here and let's play so we can see it pauses and then we can see the big G hinges out or the big G logo we can take things away we can add extra things in we can change the duration you can see it's five seconds I might want to make it six what I can do is I can change the order so I can have the graphic on top or I can have it behind. I think that's fantastic. I can really customize things. I can change the transparency, change the positions, etc. So if I click on this storyboard here, I can add a new scene. So I can pick from a different template. Now, this is amazing. Normally, when you make a video using this type of service, you're stuck in one template, but I can mix and match templates and I can do a template for each scene or I can just do a blank scene. Let's go for another template. So again, I can pick from my brand or I can pick from templates. Let's pick this one and let's try and make something to sell. Let's sell some swimwear. So I need to click on edit here. So here's a picture. I wanna get rid of this picture. So I'm gonna click delete and I'm gonna to go to stock. And as we're hitting the beach, I'm gonna type swimwear, go for a photo of swimwear from Unsplash. What have we got? So I'm going to go for this one. So I'm going to drag it in. I'm going to just position it here. For text, I can click on effects and I can do quite a lot of effects, which I think are really good. So I can do a drop shadow, which I don't think is it's not looking great 
So can you see how I'm moving that shadow about? There, I probably want to really reduce the blur. So getting it to how I want it, that's probably what I would want in terms of a drop shadow just up a little bit. Yeah, that makes it stand out. So quite happy with that. What I can do is I can put a box around my text. Like so, and I can then adjust the size. I'm going to get rid of that for demonstration purposes. I can blur the text if I want. Um, I, I don't know why I would, but the options there and it's good. I can add a reflection in. So can we see we've got a reflection here. I'm going to take that off and I can add this ground shadow. So if, if the text is sort of floating against a white background, I can do that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. I like that you get the little, little align tools. They're really helpful. So text is, is really good. I'm just going to drop this photo behind the graphics as well so that they appear on top much better. So again, I'm going to want to animate it. I'm in the timeline because I was in the timeline before. I'm going to click on animate and I'm going to pick rubber band. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm overwriting whatever's there. So if I go to storyboards, I can swap the scenes around just by dragging them and I can add a transition between the scene. I think we'll go for a overlap, overlap from the left. So I can add a transition in and what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to preview this and play all the scenes. So we get this preview box and we have to play it here. Okay, I think the only thing that's missing is we probably want to just have a blank slide with a logo on. I've already got my logo here, so I'm just going to drop that in. Probably want a black color. I can do gradients as well. I'm going to want to try and match this color, but I, there isn't a color dropper, unfortunately. If I click here, I've got true black, so I've achieved it that way, so I'm happy with that. Duration, I probably want I'm going to leave it at five seconds. I'm going back to storyboard. I'm going to take this off, but I am going to put a transition in here. Okay. What's good is we can do some duplicates, which is very good, really useful, or we can delete the slide. I've reviewed things where you can't move slide orders about. It's really difficult to delete. No, nope, this is none of that. We can share it. I don't really know what this is. I've not used it, but the options there. It's already saved, it has auto save, but we can go and download it. Now, remember I said we can do an image or we can do a video. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the image first. We could build a slide for a thumbnail, which is very useful. So I could put all these pictures together and I might just wanna make a thumbnail. So I use things like Canva and Crello and other things to make my thumbnails. Well, I could make thumbnails in Ophio very easily. I could use a template and just make my own thumbnail. Brilliant. I can do JPEG or PNG. But if I want to do a thumbnail and I've made a video, well, if I click choose the frame, I can slide through and I can pick the thumbnail I want. So if I made a video of this, I might want this as the thumbnail. Excellent. I can do that. Now, videos can go up to three minutes with Ophio and probably that's enough for social media videos. Personally, for the social media videos I'm going to make and the short videos I make, I'm never going to go past three minutes anyway. So we can download as MOV, QuickTime, or MP4, and we can download with high quality or web quality. Because I'm going to show the output in this video, I'm going to go for high quality, but I've been very happy with web quality. So I'm going to pick this. So it tells me the position I am in the queue. So there are 11 people in front of me and it tells me it's going to email me when my export is complete. So I get an email notification to tell me my export is complete. And now what it does is it gives me a timeline of what's happening with it. So it's about 11% generated. Fantastic. So you can see here, I've got my email notification and all I have to do is click watch video. 
So here I can preview the video, I can download it, I can save it to Google Drive, I can save it to Dropbox. I can go and copy the link if I want to send it to people, I can post it to Facebook or Twitter, or I can email it to someone if I want to. I've not explored this, but I can send it straight to Facebook Ads Manager and Ofio, I'm an approved partner. I've not done that and that's not going to be within the scope of this review. I'm just going to download it. Here we go. I'm going to download MP4 HD. So it's coming in at just under seven megabytes. So here we go. So if I search for Ofio lifetime deal, I see here we've got a deal at $98 and you get Ofio forever. Fantastic. If I search for Ofio pricing, we can see the pricing here. If we go for, let's go for annual to get it the cheapest, it's $14 a month or it would be $169 per year. Now, to me, you should probably get the lifetime deal. That's gonna be a lot cheaper. I don't know if there are limits on what you can export with the lifetime deal. I don't know if this premium is any better, but certainly what I've seen, I think it's fantastic. This is really good as well. I'm gonna show you this. This is really good. So this is a video I made for my podcast. It's just a, a 10 second square video format that I put on Instagram. Gonna add a blank scene and I'm gonna show you, let's go and edit the blank scene. I'm gonna show you what this tool does. And I think this is really useful. So I'm gonna change the background to black. So I'm gonna go to Apple Watch. I just want a photo of Apple Watch. So here we go, here's, here's the photo I used before. So I'm gonna click that, it's gonna go in. Now that's taken against a white background. Now if I click up here on remove background, I get 40 credits a month for removing background. Each time I remove the background, it costs me a credit. Click remove background, confirm I want to remove it. Does some analyzing. And it removes the background. So. I think it's done a tremendous job. You couldn't tell that that had a white background on it. Just to help you see the difference, I'm gonna go for a different color. I think that's done a great job. And particularly, you're not gonna have it, you're not gonna have your things really massive. You're probably gonna have them small and in the corner. That's a great little tool, and that saves you having to go into Photoshop and do it yourself. We can crop and adjust, we can apply filters. I'm probably not gonna bother with this, but it's nice to know they're there. And in effects, we've already shown that. So I might actually wanna put in the ground shadow effect. There we are. So we can see we've got the ground shadow effect. Or I might wanna put in the reflection. Let's turn the ground shadow effect off. So I think Ofio is great. I've created some really good social media videos. Like I say, you've got three minutes maximum video render time. I think the price is good if you get the one time offer. I mean, I'm very impressed with what you get in terms of stock. I'm very impressed in what you get in terms of assets, music, you can remove backgrounds. I think Ofio is really good. So like I say, Ofio reached out to me, they provided me with free access, but I'm not sponsored. This is something I would definitely get myself. I'm I'm very impressed with the service. Do let me know what you think of Ofio. Do leave a comment below telling me what you think. And if you have any questions as well, please feel free to reach out to me in the comments and I'll do the best I can to answer. But as always, thank you and goodbye.